couple of weeks ago, we talked about document.querySelectorAll, which you can use to select all of the elements in your HTML that match a particular, well, query. Typically, a class name like .button or a combination of element and class name like a.external. This produces what's called a node list, which, as I mentioned in the earlier tutorial, is an array-like type. Here's an example. Let's start with some HTML. Avengers, assemble. Man, there are a lot of these people. Anyway, in those script tags, add the following. All right, this will log out all of our Avengers as a node list. It's actually going to log all of the li tags. Of course, it helps if you don't capitalize the queue in query selector all. Let's try that again. There we go. The fact that a node list is not actually an array can be problematic because node lists only support a select few methods, specifically .item, .entries, .keys, .values, and .foreach. That's useful, but it'd be nice if we could use, say, .filter on them. Try this code, and we'll get an unfortunate error message. Save it. Run it. Uncaught type error. All Avengers.filter is not a function. That's because all Avengers is a node list and not an array. So that's a problem. To use array methods, we'll need to convert to an actual array. There's an old ES5 way to do that, which looks like this. But that's kind of tedious. So let's use the ES2015 way instead, like this. Once we have that, we can use the array methods we know and love. Let's filter our array down to just the original Avengers, like this. Save that. And now we're filtered down to just six original Avengers. Each of which is still the node and has a ton of information in it. We can also use array.from in our QSA function in combination on a single line. Here's an example that generates an array of the names of the Avengers associates using array.map. This should log three names, Ant-Man, Winter Soldier, and Black Panther. And there they are, in their array. Node lists are incredibly handy, and in a lot of cases, particularly for DOM manipulation, they'll be all you need. On the occasions where you need to write more complex functionality, they easily convert to true JavaScript arrays. Just remember, array.from is your friend. See you next week.